Hey guys, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine. And tonight we are going to dress up a turkey from the Dollar Tree. This little wood turkey. Um, and say hey once you get on. I'm just getting everything together. Hey guys, see some of you hopping on. We're gonna fix up Mr. Turkey. Hey Kathy. I gotta take this off. Okay. <laughs> They've changed everything on the live, so it's kind of weird. It shows me people that are watching that are, <laughs> I don't even know, and it's really strange how they've done everything. Hey, Kimberly. All right, guys, we are gonna take this turkey, and I know some of y'all said that you actually have the turkey from the Dollar Tree, um, and we are going to try to fix him up and make him pretty. So, um, so it's just from the Dollar Tree, if you're just hopping on. Hey, hey, Robin. Hey, everybody. Hey, Joanne. Hey, Vicki. Thank you for sprinkling. <clears throat> okay, guys. So, a little turkey from Dollar Tree. He's just a little wood turkey. Um, hey, Wendy from Ohio. So, I'm going to just cut this off, the little little hanger thing because I don't need that. I'll just throw it away. And then, um, hey Colin. Hey Mandy. Okay. So I'm going to start by what I did first was I actually sanded him a little bit just to kind of get him smooth because I'm going to add some paint to it. And when you add paint to wood, it kind of makes the fibers in the wood kind of come up. So I just kind of, um, um, sanded him a little bit, but I'm not going to actually, um, um, we're not gonna paint him. We're gonna do something else to him. So um, this is just a little bit of, it's called Cafe Latte something. Anita's is his Cafe All, La I don't know what that says. <laughs> it's in some other like French or something. I don't even know. So anyway, so um, I just put a little bit on my, on my plate and I'm gonna add just a little bit of burnt umber to it. Cause I kind of want it, I don't want it dark brown, but I want it kind of a little bit darker brown because we're going to cover his body part with, um, hey Suki, we're going to cover his body part with burlap. So, you know, the burlap has holes in it and I need it a little bit darker than that. So I'm going to, um, <laughs> Yvonne, Yvonne, this is going to be fun. Yeah, wait till y'all see what I'm going to do with this turkey. We're going to dress him up. <clears throat> I told my, my son Chase came in here and he's like, what are you doing tonight? And I said, I'm gonna dress up that turkey over there. And he was like, are you trying to be funny? And I was like, no, I'm really gonna dress him. <laughs> We're not putting clothes on him though. <clears throat> yeah, happy fall everybody. It's first day of fall. Okay, so I just kind of mixed it up, made it just a touch darker than what's actually in the bottle. Um, just because I wanted it kind of, it's kind of the same color as burlap. I'm trying to get, uh, I'm out of paper towels. You've been working on the gnomes and the snowman with the jingle blocks. Oh, good, good. So you're getting ahead of the game. You're going to be all ready for Christmas when Christmas comes. So I'm just going to paint um, basically just the body part. Just give it a quick coat. Um, just so it won't show the, the light color won't show through the burlap. So, but I did something special to my burlap. Thank y'all for sprinkling. Um, I... I made my burlap stiff. Um, I took uh, Mod Podge and I squirted it on my a piece of burlap. And then I took a paintbrush. Hey, Pat. Oh, you're so sweet. I took a paintbrush and I just kind of scrubbed the, um, the Mod Podge all in the burlap. And um, I let it, I hung it up and I let it dry for a few hours and then I it wasn't quite dry because it was really saturated with it and I blew my little fan on it for an hour hey BJ and so I let it um, I let it get all the way dry and it what it does is it makes your burlap stiff and um, hey Lynn oh you're so funny Lynn you're so sweet to do that thank you um, so I 
uh, I made the burlap where it's stiff. And you could do the same thing with white school glue. You could just brush it all over the burlap and it, it makes it stiff. So we're gonna use a little burlap with him. And y'all know I have a love-hate relationship with burlap. I love it, but I will end up with it all over me. So I wore my apron. Um, so <clears throat> I'll have those little fibers everywhere, but it's um, with the Mod Podge, it kind of helps it from not being so, um, all those little fibers going into the air. But I am going to use some other burlap that's not stiff and not that I haven't put Mod Podge on. So we're just going to paint this brown on just the body part of him because I'm going to do something up here a little different. Um, thank you, Frida, for the stars. You're sweet. And I'm kind of just hitting the edges a little bit just because that lighter color, wood color. So I can't wait for y'all to see what I'm going to do to it. I'm excited. I just, this just kind of came to me today. I was trying to decide what to do, and I just said, hey, Kat. Oh, well, welcome if you're first time here. Welcome, welcome. Um, this is not my usual night. Um, my son has been having uh, football games on Monday night, so I, um, you didn't get a notification? I'm sorry. I know they're being wonky lately. Um, so I didn't uh, get to go live last night. He's only got two more games left, so after that, I should be good. So, we're going to let this little turkey dry. Let me get my heat going. Hey, Sherry. Yes, it's the first day of fall. Yay! It actually feels like fall here. So, I'm just kind of hitting him with my heat gun. Going to let it dry. It's my husband's heat gun that I stole. I probably used it more than he has. <laughs> Hey Robin, yes, first day of fall. Now something's done gone in my paint, but it's all right, we're gonna cover it up. Get him good and dry. See, he looks like kind of the color of burlap. That's what I wanted. So I, I mixed a little burnt umber with that tan color, whatever that word was. So, um, so y'all have this turkey. I know some of y'all um, said, would this be possible using the baby turkeys? Probably. Yeah, you could probably do this just on a smaller scale. Um, but yeah, you're gonna do this. But we're gonna we're gonna dress him up. That's what I told my son. He was like, You're gonna dress up the turkey? Are you trying to be funny? And I was like, No. Okay, so I'm gonna put my paint plate over there. I'll get something on it. So let me show you the burlap, okay? So this is my burlap. It's stiff. Okay, so what because I took, I mean it's not so stiff that it won't bend, but it's it's real um it's stiff. <laughs> I don't know what other way to say that. Um, so what I did was I just took this piece of burlap. I lay down saran wrap because I use saran wrap in my in packing all my wood stuff, and I laid it down. And then I just took my podge and just drizzled it all over it, and I just scrubbed it all in there with a brush, and then I, I mean a paintbrush, and then I just hung it to dry. So you can see where it's light here where I didn't do it, and then you can see right here where it's darker. But it, it's it's kind of stiff. I mean, it'll it'll stand up if I curl it like that. It'll stand up by itself because it's stiff. Um, 81 today in the nor in northeast Missouri. Goodness, it got hot. It wasn't but like, I don't know, it was in the 60s or 70s, or low 70s today maybe. So what I'm going to attempt to do, I'm hoping this is going to work because I have not done this ahead of time, is I'm going to try to trace him out and then cut out and put burlap on him, put the burlap on him. So, um, oh, I got paint on the back over here. Where's my paper towel? Well, there it is. Obviously, he does not need his, no, he doesn't need his heat gun. So, I'm just going to take a Sharpie, basically, and try not to get it on my wood. And I'm just going to kind of go around and trace him out the best I can, and we're going to kind of cut it. And what the Mod Podge does, too, is that it helps you be able to cut the burlap a little better just because it's got a little bit of body to it, and it, the little fibers aren't going to fly off in the air. I'm not going to do his feet because we're going to paint his feet, and I probably shouldn't do his little... What's that little thing called that hangs down? His beard? That's his beard. I should know. I should know this. 
We learned about um, eagles and owls. Now we're going to learn about turkeys. So I'm trying to figure out. I'm going to cut it big just in case. So I can know where he's. Because I'm not going to do the whole turkey with burlap. So right about here. So, okay. So I'll show you what I did. Okay. So, so I painted him that color because we're going to put burlap. And then I... <laughs> It looks like a quail or something. Look at him. I traced him out, and then I just rounded this off over here because um, we're going to cover up the, his feathers with something else. So um, I just was at odds about what to do with him, and then I was deciding what I was going to do, and this just kind of came to me, and I was like, ah! He never finished it. Well, I was going to paint him, and then I thought, well, I thought of different things that I could do. And I was like, I want it to be kind of, kind of um, exciting. Oh, thank you, Dorothy. You're so sweet. His waddle. Okay. And I know they have beards too, right? They have, because I know my son, Colin, turkey hunts, and they measure their beards and their spurs on their feet and all that stuff. I don't know. We're Sorry about that, guys. Somebody's trying to call me. I have no idea who that is, so... Um, <laughs> the number I don't know. Sorry, guys. Y'all still there? I wish there was a way that I could take all that off. Y'all still there? I hope so. Got to get you some white clay. Yes, that clay is awesome. I love the clay. You can make anything with that clay. I'm, on, I'm not going to do his little waddle either, his beard or whatever. It's that... He's got that, that red thing that hangs off his nose. That's what the waddle is, right? I'm, I'm cutting out my burlap. But the stiffness kind of helps because it's almost like I'm cutting um, cardboard. Let's see. Now i got to put him back down so I can see what I'm doing. Make sure I'm not cutting off anything I shouldn't cut off. Okay. So I just need to go like that. So y'all had a good day so far today and this week? Okay. All right, let's get rid of that. So see, it's stiff. It's, you know, I want to see you do something with the calendar. Yeah, I thought about doing something with the calendar. It's just hard to think of something that somebody hadn't already done or um, make signs or that kind of thing. And when I traced him out, I tried to cut a little inside of the line that I traced because, you know, of course, that's bigger. Alice Smith, thank you. You almost missed me. I know notifications have been kind of crazy. So, okay. So, I've got that cut out, and we're going to glue that on him. And then we're going to work on this part. Um, but I am going to... I'm going to paint his little... What's that thing? <laughs> a waddle? I'm going to paint that. I'm going to do it red, but I'm going to... Try to tone it down a little because I don't want it so so vibrant that it's just overpowering. Try putting your phone. I was wondering, Dana, if I could do that. If I could put it on Do Not Disturb so I can still go live with that on there like that. I wonder. I, I'm froze. Uh-oh. I hope I'm not froze. I still see comments. I'm trying to get this burnt umbers just about done. Wash windows and planted pansies. Oh, is it cool enough there to plant pansies? Wow. Okay, so I just mix a little bit of burnt umber with some red. It's just true red. And I'm going to try to paint his little waddle, but I don't want it just in your face red. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Just to give it a little bit of color, but not enough just to overpower the whole turkey. Okay, so see, I just painted that. It's just kind of subtle. Okay, good. I'm not frozen. Okay. I don't know who's trying to call me. Some number I didn't know. Probably trying to sell me some warranty for my car <laughs> or some crazy something like that. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. So, I am just going to do a little orange. Is his feet orange? I'm going to make them orange, but I'm not going to. I'm going to tone them down a little bit. Good, I'm not frozen, okay. Somebody said I was frozen. Maybe it's their internet. So 
So I'm just mixing a little burnt umber with a little bit of orange like that, just to tone down the orange. Cause I want to just, I don't want it to be so colorful. We're going to kind of do muted tones a little bit. And then we're going to glue the burlap on him after I paint his feet. Trying to get that done. Okay, got his little foot, feet, foot, whatever that is. See, I just put a little brown in there and it kind of, cause it's really bright orange. It's called Autumn Orange. How significant is that? By Anita's. Yeah. I put some water in there, it'll come out. Yeah, I need to try that. Cause I use burnt umber. I think everything I do, I have burnt umber somewhere. And we are always so busy, I'm on my fan or something. I hear you, Susanna. I hear you. Okay. All right. So we got that. So we got our turkey painted, his body, and then his feet, and his little waddle that we've learned that that's called. So, yeah, we learned about eagles and owls <laughs> um, a couple of weeks ago when I made the owls. Yeah, everybody gets those warranty calls all the time. That's probably who it was. Okay. It's like, don't, don't do that during my life. I'm busy. <laughs> okay. So I'm just gonna take my hot glue gun and I'm trying to start a new go a new stick. So I'm just gonna squirt some out here and get this burlap glued down. Just putting it all over him. Okay. Try not to burn myself. You got more caulk drying? Y'all are going crazy with that caulk. Look, I don't know what happened in the last two days, but man, there has been some stuff on the group page that has just been phenomenal, guys. Y'all are just blow me away. I got friends taking pictures of stuff going, oh my gosh, did you see this on the on the page? Did you see this on the group page? I was like, no, it's just crazy. You're making another gnome now. The snood is over the nose and the waddle is under his chin. Okay, but they have beards, right? They have those black, Cause my, cause Colin, he turkey hunts. And uh, so they have like this hair that hangs down too. So, um, you're late for the party. You're good. All I've done is, um, I painted it brown and then I took my burlap and I told y'all I, I, I put Mod Podge all over my burlap and made it stiff so I can cut it better. Kind of like cutting cardboard, but it's burlap. So if you just take, you can take uh, white school glue and do the same thing. Just kind of saturate it with a paintbrush and then hang it up to dry and it'll be stiff like that. And you can cut out of it. You can cut stuff out of it. And if I paint on burlap, that's how I do it too. I put Mod Podge over it, let it dry, and then I like to paint it. Because it's hard to paint on burlap. And I got his little eye, but I don't know if that's going to show up. But anyway, okay. So let me show y'all what we're going to do to his feathers. So I have, ahead of time, I have cut pieces of fabric like this. This fabric is, is like a chevron print and it's off-white. Um, oh, good, Terry. So maybe this will inspire you to do something with your turkey. The beard is on his chest. Like, yeah, like something. And they measure how long their beards are and I don't, I don't know. So I've cut approximately... <laughs> two inch squares of fabric, whatever fabric, you know, you want to, you want to use. Okay. And this has just got like a tan, um, chevron pattern on it. And then I also cut, God help me, but I cut all these little squares of burlap. I just cut a strip and then I just sat there and cut it in squares. So I wasn't really, uh, specific about it being exactly two inches, but it's approximately two by two. Um, and if you had a smaller turkey, you could cut them even smaller. Um, so anyway, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to give him some feathers, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the first row in this off white color and I'm going to take the center of the square and I'm going to pinch it in the middle like this. So where it kind of comes up like that, y'all see? And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to put me some glue down here and I'm going to glue it down. And I'm just gonna go and make rows of feathers that way and make it all his tail all bushy, just like that. And then I'll take another square, it's got burlap in it, and then I'm just gonna pinch it in the middle and do the same thing and go right next to it 
or a little over from it, and then I'm just gonna stick it in my glue. Hey, Nancy, there you are. I was wondering where you were. Same thing. I just pinch it in the middle and make almost like a little flower looking thing. And then I'm just gonna glue it down right next to that one. And I'm just going right with that curve of that burlap that I cut. Oh yeah, if you go to my page and you, this page, my main page, and then go to, um, it'll be pinned at the top with a group and you can join the group. And that's where people post their crafts and stuff like that. Not necessarily crafts that I do, but it can be any craft. You have a tree cut out you need ideas for, like a Christmas tree, Cody? Thank y'all for the stars, you're so sweet. So anyway, so your squares, and I just pinch it in the middle and make a little, I just pull it up like that, and then I'm gonna glue that little um, point down. I'll show y'all what it looks like in just a second. Let me get a few done so you can see. Oh, Mary, yeah, did you get your gnome? I didn't realize they were sold out. That's kind of something I keep all the time. So, you're not late if you're here. That's right, Lynn, tell them. You're not late if you're here, you're fine. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. Okay, so there's, I'm starting my little row of, of ruffle, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm just, I'm just going around like that. And if you can't see what I'm doing at the bottom, you can swipe and move the comments and um, it would, um, they'll go away. And so I hope I have enough little squares cut. I probably have too many, but um, that'll be okay too. Oh, it came from the Dollar Tree. You could do this to it, Cody. You could cut up uh, green fabric and do exactly what I'm doing. It's little squares, about two inch by two inch squares. I just tore the fabric and then I just pinch it in the middle and make a little, like a little flower almost. And then I'm just gluing the point down and just kind of mashing it down. And it's, I'm gonna make little rows of feathers. But you could do this with your tree the little Christmas trees. Um, you can do this with lots of stuff. But I was trying to figure out a way to make his feathers bushy and not just paint them on. I didn't want to just paint him, which I started to. Oh, Michelle, did you? I heard it go off a little bit ago. That must have been you. <laughs> Y'all are so sweet. Y'all ordering stuff. I worked on Christmas yesterday. Um... So I, I, I test cut my, one of my Christmas designs that I designed, um, yesterday and that one's not doing right. And so, I don't know what happened to that one. I'm going to fix it. And, uh, it test, it cut good and I've got it, most of it painted and I cannot wait to show it to y'all. So I'm probably going to... Uh, do start my Christmas um, probably the 1st of October. That's when I'll probably put Christmas up and let y'all see it and all that good stuff and put it on the website and get ready because, um, you know, us crafters have to get started early. A placemat I got from Hobby Lobby. Oh, that pumpkin up here? Over here? That pumpkin? Yeah, that was a placemat I got um, on the springs when they had the spring stuff. And that one's not wanting to act right. I gotta fix him. I don't know what happened to him. I had to put another one down in there. Yeah, placemat from Hobby Lobby, and then it's a piece of tin from a cookie sheet from Dollar Tree, and then it's a um, it's a piece of cardboard too. I'll show it to you in just a second. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't buy the turkey because you didn't know what to do with it. Now you're like, oh, I wish I had the turkey. Um, well, I tell you, I'll give you another idea. You could, um, you could find you a turkey pattern online and, you know, print it, print it out on your printer and then you could trace it on like cardboard or something and then do it on cardboard. I would say that foam core board, but that might melt the foam core. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> you're going to have cute late turkeys. You're so funny, Cindy. Okay. See, that one didn't want to do right. It opened back up on me or something. I want to fix it. 
So I'm almost got that row done. And it's not going to take but about three rows, really. Oh, Michelle. I know. I I made some st uh, Christmas stuff in July. And that shim tree was was fabulous. Everybody's made versions of, of my shim tree like 10 times better than mine. They're so awesome. And the, it never gets old. T90 squares. Yeah, little T90 squares. <laughs> Nancy. That's what I say. But if you have the little turkeys, you could do this too. But you just have to make even smaller turkeys. So I'm just pinching it in the middle. Just like that. And then just kind of making a little, almost a little flower-like thing. And then just sticking it down. That's smart, Tina. Now, I have done that too. Tracing out stuff on, on like the foam core board or cardboard. And then you could use it later for something else. But you could, you could totally cut you a turkey out of um, cardboard. And it would, you know, this, you could do the exact same thing I'm doing. And you would never know that there was what was behind there. Uh-oh, we got a creeper on here. We'll just ignore him and they'll go away. Thank you for the stars. We couldn't make our shim trees if you had to show them. I know, and y'all have done outstanding on those trees. It just blew me away. It's like I just kind of started it, and then y'all just ran with it, and it looks so awesome. They're like, these are like two-inch squares, approximately. Because I just basically eyeballed it, and I just cut my, I made a little cut my fabric and then I just tore it so and then I just took the strip and I just went down and just cut little made, made squares yeah welcome newbies okay so there's my first row guys okay so there's my first row and they look cute I got his head covered up doesn't that look adorable okay so um now we're gonna now I'm gonna take the burlap squares and hope I don't inhale any of this fibers and then I'm gonna do the same thing I just cut little burlap squares like I said I cut a long strip and they're not Mod Podge they're just regular burlap the only the only stiff is what I did is what I put on him so I could cut it better so anyway so I'm just painting it in the middle and then I'm gonna go behind that row and do the same thing and since it all kind of bushes out you don't really have to get that close to the flowers or whatever you want to call them. Thank you, Carmen. 36 inch shim tree waiting on Christmas paper to be out in stores. Oh, you're going to put like wrapping paper in it, Billy? I bet that tree is beautiful. I've got the big shims too, and I can't wait to make a tree. And I guess I'll just have to be a special place in the attic for that thing. Oh, Diana, welcome. Since you're new. Okay, just trying to wait for... That one just did not want to act right. And I'm trying to get it to act right. Georgetown, Kentucky. Johanna. All right. So I'm just kind of, like I said, I'm just kind of pinching it up together and gluing it down. Probably going to go through a lot of hot glue. And I'm trying to hold them at the same time and then keep on going. So you can just kind of pinch it all up like this. This goes pretty quick because you don't have to get um, too many other things happening. Y'all are funny. I love how you say pinch. You just pinch it. <laughs> I'm surprised y'all not making fun of the way I say stuff. How do you say a pinch? pinch? Now I gotta sneeze. <laughs> this fiber stuff makes me sneeze. <laughs> Gonna go away. Hey, Tara. Yes, Graham. My husband bought the big shims for me at Lowe's. And they're... I showed them the other night. They're, they're like... 18, I think we said 18 inches long. It's crazy how big they are. And then I'm, I'm going to make two big trees to go by my fireplace. See, I got this whole basket full of all these little squares. I'm hoping, I know I'm going to have enough. I was just, I kind of figured I was going to need more than I actually 
am going to need, but that's okay. I'd rather have too much than not enough. So I'm kind of holding them and can't get it to stand up. Um, some people aren't even putting the little wood stems on the bottom. They're just setting them down flat. So you could think about doing that too. You don't even have to, because yeah, those little wood slices are hard to find the ones that are, that are totally flat. Hey. Yes, Judy, it's a, yes, it's a, it's a video and it says, it's in July and it says, let's DIY a tree. And that's the one where I made the Christmas tree out of the shims that you get like at Lowe's or Home Depot. Now oh, this burlap makes my nose itch. Pinch. <laughs> I pinch it. <laughs> yeah, my tree is over there or I would show y'all. If you go to the group, you can't miss them, I promise, because you'll just be wowed. And I can't wait to finish mine because I got to put those bells in there. Somebody sent me some bells too and I got to finish them when I get a chance. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow. Almost through with this row. I'm just kind of holding multiples and going, did I wear a mask to cut the burlap? <laughs> no, Nancy, but I think I should because like I said, I'll, after I cut the burlap and mess with it too much, I'll have like, a, I feel like I have a hairball in my throat because... All these little fibers, they go everywhere. But it wasn't too bad. And the Mod Podge burlap is even better because it doesn't... Um, how I made the turkey, uh, the, the Mod Podge burlap doesn't go everywhere. Um, somebody just asked how I made the turkey. And it's a wood turkey from Dollar Tree. It's just a little wood cut out. And um, all right, so there he is so far. <laughs> Isn't he cute? So he was just this wood to start with. Just this plain wood Dollar Tree turkey. And then I took burlap and I put Mod Podge all over it and let it dry and made it stiff. And then I traced out my turkey on the burlap and glued it to there. And then I took, I took these little squares. Um, I did paint behind the burlap just so it wouldn't show through. Um... Oh, thank you, Bobby. July 24th was the date for the shim tree, if y'all want to go back and watch that. Yes, Judy was a white one on today. They are gorgeous. So, I cut fabric, whatever color fabric you want. I started to do like a pretty navy plaid, and then my nose is running now. Um, yes, I do too, but I decided not to. I decided I would just go with this. I wanted to kind of go with the, um, the muted colors. I thought it'd be pretty, and then I wanted to show y'all how to do that burlap with uh, making it stiff, it makes it easier, so easy to cut. It's just, you just like cutting cardboard. So I, I was trying to think what I was gonna do with him. Cause you know, he'll just sit in my craft stash and then he'll just stay till next year. And I was like, no, I'm gonna do something with the turkey. I think I've pumpkin y'all to death. <laughs> I can make a pumpkin 500 ways. <laughs> Thank you for sprinkling. How am I doing with my new job? It's wonderful. I have a wonderful boss. <laughs> you know, I'm the CEO. I'm the executive, whatever, packer, shipper, cutter, IT. Um, what else is there? <laughs> the janitor, the, <laughs> the shopper person, um, um, PR person, I'm all. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yep, I do it all. My husband does cut my wood down for me. That's what he does. He picks up my wood for me. So, he has he's behind the scenes. So, he's my wood, wood getter person. So, but, um, yeah, I sit in here all day and have my little TV on and my laser going all day. What is sprinkle? Uh, Vicky, this is what sprinkle means. We just can't say this word. And so we say sprinkle instead because Facebook doesn't allow us to, to say that. Um, they don't like us to tell people what to do. So yeah, it is great, Tammy. 
We are liking what you're doing. Oh, thank you, Nancy. Oh, Tina, first time from Ohio. Well, welcome. I hope you stick around. Okay. Oop, I'm going to tear his head off. Okay. So, that's how it's looking so far. Look, he's going to have like a ruffle butt. <laughs> It looks like little ruffles, doesn't it? So like I said, I'm just taking the squares and I just pinch it in the middle and I just kind of pull it up and make like a little, like a flowerette and then you just glue them down. And I'm trying to glue several and um, hold several at one time. Nah, I'll be all right, Sarita. Some days I, I mean, which I cut every day, but um, some days I'm, oh, thank you. My hair looks pretty. I got it uh, colored last week, so y'all won't have to look at all those roots anymore. It was looking terrible. Looked like I had COVID hair all over again. <laughs> do you design the piece you cut? Um, Some of them, Brenda, I do. Um, some of them I actually have drawn myself. And then I turn it into a file that I can cut on the laser. Um, if y'all are familiar with, uh, if you have an iPad and you like to draw, um, there's an app called Procreate. Um, it is fantastically awesome. Um, it is a $10 app, but it is well worth it. Um, you can use your Apple pen and you can draw. And then I take some, you know, the drawing or whatever I do. I take that and put it into a program. It turns it into the file that I have to cut with my laser, the kind of file it takes. <sighs> my nose is wanting to run. Oh, thank you, Deborah. I'm glad you're here and watching from Florida for the first time. I think I'm gonna have enough little squares and I'm just pinching it in the middle and twisting it up like that. You would have never thought of this, Pat. I just, I have so, everybody asks me, how do I come up with all this stuff? I look at Pinterest a lot, but sometimes, I, sometimes it just hits me and I'm just like, oh, I know what I can do to that. I wonder if that'll work. <laughs> so, and then sometimes, some days I'm just, I can't think of a solitary thing. Yeah, welcome, Deborah. if you're new. I'm glad y'all are on here watching with me tonight. Hey, Judy. Nancy's welcome them, everybody. Hey, Janet. All right, so here, his, here he is so far. I'm almost done with him. But you don't have to really put them close together, you know, because it kind of, the fluffiness of him um, kind of takes up space. Does that make sense? So I'm going to hold that one. <laughs> absolutely love this so now y'all can make turkeys and do this is what you can do to your turkey that you got at the Dollar Tree but um, and you could do different kinds of um, fabric you could totally you could do your feathers and make them go this way I just went this I went around with the whole thing but you could totally go straight up and make the stripes that way or you could do it all one color it's really strictly up to you Oh, Billy, you're sweet. Yeah, there's a lot of new people on here tonight. Y'all must be sprinkling. That little piece was too small. Yeah, welcome, newbies. I'm glad you're here and stopped by to watch. Just making a, I'm dressing a turkey. Just little squares, and I'm just painting it in the middle. I know I've told y'all that a hundred times, but I know there might be somebody on going, how is she doing that? <laughs> and I'm just hot gluing it down. Trying to hold them and glue at the same time. Yes, I saw Carol did the wooden biscuits. She did. That was cool, too. Uh-oh, Bobby's going to do it. <laughs> Y'all are sweet. But, yeah, you could do, um, like I said, I started to doing plaid with plaid fabric. Um, oh, Nancy, you're sweet. Um, yeah, you turn your notifications on, but sometimes it doesn't, it's not working, but. Oh, thank you. Is it Elle from 
Washington State. It's a long way from here. Where am I from? I'm from Mississippi, um, right south of Memphis, if that's if that helps you where I am. I'm very I'm at the tip of the sip, Mississippi. Oh, you're so y'all are sweet. I'm trying to hold it. All right, here he is so far. I gotta fix these up here though. They're wanting to they're not wanting to stay. All right, there he is so far. But see, you could do, you know, you could do them this way, going with the feathers, or do it like I did, and you could do different colors. You could do the fall colors, like um, yellow, orange, brown, and it would be cute too. You could do them any color you wanted to. But um, I started to do, what am I falling off? I started to do the plaids, like pretty plaids, but... Then I thought, oh, I'm gonna do burlap, and I, I was debating whether I should cut the burlap because <laughs> it makes me um, sniff and everything else and all these little fibers, but it's not so bad. Welcome, Elizabeth. All right, I'm getting close to being finished. I'm trying to hurry so y'all won't have to watch me do this all night. Yeah, now, Emily, you can finish your turkey. Washington State. Wow. It's a long way from me. Is it cold up in Washington State? Because it's cool down here, but it's really cool for Mississippi at this time. A memory came up on my Facebook that the kids were in the pool swimming at this time last year, and I was like, oh my goodness, it's a big difference than what it felt like this time last year. But it's, it's okay because I'm not complaining. Cause I like it being cool. Oh, you're sweet. Thank you for an idea for decorating this turkey. I'm just gonna put a few more little of the other ones on. They are wanting what they call catawampus. That's it, they're kind of wanting to go catawampus. I think I'm not holding them long enough. <laughs> we'll put a few more of these on. But I just had some scrap, you know, I have a lot of scrap fabric, I ain't gonna lie. Um, <laughs> I have a whole, uh, little closet in the hallway full of it. And where'd I get my turkey? Um, he came from Dollar Tree. He's just a little wood turkey that they, um, that they sell. But if you can't find him, I, I told everybody else, you could, um, find a printable of a turkey online and print it off and then trace it onto like cardboard and cut it out and do the same exact thing as what I'm doing. Oh, it's supposed to be tomorrow. It's supposed to be raining here tomorrow, too. It's supposed to start tonight, actually. So I'm just doing some at the tip of the feathers up here at the very top. And it's a good thing because I don't have but a few more pieces of this. I cut just enough. That, no, the burlap that I put on his body, now that was Mod Podge and dried to where it would be stiff. This, the, what I'm doing on his feathers is just regular... I didn't put Mod Podge on it. And look, I can do that, and I can just see those little fibers flying off in the air. Makes me sneeze just looking at it. <laughs> Makes me all sneezy. Okay. Let me just put a few more on the tips up here, and we'll be finished, and we can see the turkey. I'm gonna put his, I gotta put in my eye on, though. This one went pretty quick, actually. One more, guys. That's all I have is one more. Smoke is reaching KY, Kentucky? No Mod Podge on the squares. No, I didn't. I just did that um, for his body so it would be easier to cut and work with. It's like cutting cardboard. Um, so it's not too terribly bad. I had just enough. I could really use one more square, but it'd be okay. Hmm. Ohio here, you could use. Yeah, you could use different colors, Teresa. That's what I was saying. You could do like the fall colors. I'm gonna put one more burlap up here because there's a space. Um, you could do the fall colors, the yellow, the red, the orange, brown, and that would be really pretty too. Nice cool in Clark County. Just got back from cleaning. 
Oh, no. Hey, Shannon from Enterprise. This is some of my hometown people. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be, I don't know if it's supposed to be stormy, but, you know, anytime the weather changes and it's hot to cold, whatever, it gets like that, but I hope not. We've had our share of it. Okay. Pick all this fuzz. I got strings everywhere, guys. But he looks so stinking cute. Is that not the cutest little turkey? Don't he look? He looks all sassy with his little, his little fluffy, fluffy butt, I guess you would call it. But don't that look so cute? So that's how he started out. And then that's how he looks now. <laughs> and is this the cutest turkey? Y'all are cute. Y'all are so sweet. That is so stinking cute. So what I'm going to do for his eye is I got just a little brown button. It's little. See it? Because y'all know I have 900 buttons. And I'm just going to glue a button on and put it for his little eye. thought that was kind of appropriate and rustic to make him look all rustic. See his little button eye? And then there's all the little pieces. It didn't take as much as I thought it was going to. But yeah, it would be pretty if you did, you know, yellow and orange and red and brown and do all of the um, Thanksgiving color or fall colors or whatever. It'd be so cute. There's so many different ways you could do this. But he would look cute with any color up here. Like, you do rainbow, <laughs> he still would be cute to me. But, um, so I was thinking about putting something on his neck, like, up here. So... I've got these little, um, I've got these little flowers. They're like little ruffled flowers, like little scrapbook thingies. And I, I kind of took it apart because all it is is like roughly stuff. And I thought about putting that on his neck. See how that would look. Just to give him a little something, something. Or should I leave it off? What if I put that on his neck? He looks like a girl turkey now, right? <laughs> girl turkeys don't look like this. Oh. Oh, Cindy, you're so sweet. Thank you, Carrie. So y'all think I should put that on his neck or leave it off? Gobble, gobble. <laughs> I told my son I was going to dress up a turkey, and I dressed up a turkey. Oh, you're so sweet and easy. Raffia rage. Yeah, I don't want to put raffia. Yeah, I love the neutral colors, too. That's kind of what I was kind of going for. If I, you know, when I decorate, I'm going to kind of do a little neutral this year. So, I was trying to do a neutral turkey. So, should I put that on his neck or should I take it off? What do y'all think? You know, he's a he's a, a boy turkey. I don't know if he needs a, he needs a, um, a necklace or whatever. And then I have, of course, I have, like, I got flowers out, but I didn't want to do that because I didn't want it to be, um, tell us how the stars work. Um, the stars are just something that Facebook does. They started off doing it for gamer people and now they're doing it for creative, creative people. Um, and it's just like a tip. I mean, you have to purchase the stars. I think Facebook gives you a few free or something like that. But it's just if you want to. It's not necessarily that you've got to. But it's like one penny each for me is what that is. That's all it is. And it just helps us do our page. Thank you, Peggy. You're so sweet. So, yes, put it on his neck. I say yes, yes, yes. Nobody has said no. So, all right. So, the this turkey's not going to end up on the Thanksgiving table this year. He's too cute. He's going to live another year. <laughs> so, I'm going to have to show my son. I told him I was going to dress up a turkey. So, I'm going to show him my dressed up turkey. Because he goes, what are you doing tonight? I said, I'm dressing up a turkey. And he went, really? Like, he thought it was a real turkey. And I was like, no, son. It's that wood turkey over there. He came in here and helped me wrap stuff today. At your school. Now, that looks kind of cute because it kind of matches that ruffliness. Is that a word? Ruffle, ruffle, ruffliness. Yes. 
And all that was is I have some um, like scrapbook little flowers and I just, it was that kind that's, and it was all done like this in, in like a circle, like a little flower. And I just undid it to make it, give him a little something on his neck. Don't he look cute? And his little, what we call this, the waddle. And then he don't have a beard, but in his feet, I just painted his feet. I just mixed a little brown in with the orange so it wouldn't be so bright. And I did the same with the red. I mixed a little brown in with the red so it would be kind of toned down. And then there he is. So yeah, did you get him pardoned? Yeah, I got him pardoned. He's not gonna end up in the oven. <laughs> You're so funny. He need, yes, he needs a little pilgrim hat. I had to make him a pilgrim hat, like a little, little pilgrim. Imagine if that was black and put a little pilgrim hat on him. <laughs> a little bow tie. Yes, Mary, he would look cute with a bow tie. I did grab some lace stuff, but it kind of looks like that other. So I have like little stuff out here in case I need it. What kind of glue did I use? Um, I just use regular hot glue, but you're talking about for the burlap, like how I made it stiff. Or I glued all this on with burlap. I mean with burlap. <laughs> I glued it all on with my hot glue gun. Um, and the turkey came from the Dollar Tree. And that's how he started out. Just plain wood. And like I said, if you can't find the turkey at Dollar Tree, you can always go online and, try and find you a printable of a turkey. And then trace it out on um, cardboard. And then do the same exact thing. And you would never know it's cardboard. Um, yes, he's got a button for his eye. And then, but what I did for the body part is burlap. But earlier today, I took this piece of burlap. I took saran wrap and I laid it out. And I laid this down. Because if, if you don't put it on like saran wrap or wax paper or something, you're, it's going to stick to it. So I just took Mod Podge and just poured it on there. And just took my paintbrush and just scrubbed it into the burlap. Oh, this is making my nose itch. Sorry guys. And then I just kind of took some clips and I hung it to like a, a, a clothes hanger and I hung it in my bathroom on the shower rod and I hung it up like this to let it dry. And so it makes the burlap kind of stick stiff. And then when I go to cut it, all the little, um, all the fibers don't fly around like it's doing right now from all this. Um, and it makes it easier to cut kind of like cardboard. But he would look cute um, with corrugated cardboard right here. But I just kind of, I like the texture of burlap. I just love me some burlap. But it don't like me because it makes me, makes me sniff and sneeze because all that stuff's flying around in the air. Oh, you're, you're, thank you for coming. Alexis sent you over. Alexis is my friend from Purposeful Indulgence. If you don't follow her, go follow her. She is awesome. I like the hat idea, but he looks good the way he is. Yes, I do too. I might have to experiment with his hat. Maybe when it gets closer to Thanksgiving, I'm putting my hat on. <laughs> y'all never know. But I hope y'all give this a try. Um, I think he turned out so cute. I was hoping that he would turn out the way I had it envisioned in my mind. But, you know, sometimes you don't ever know. And I'd have a craft and fail, but, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. Spray the cut ones with hairspray and it helps the burlap. Something's got to help because, woof, that stuff gets all in my nose and it makes me sneeze. sneeze. But it does a lot of people that way because that stuff, I can just see it in this light. I can just see it flying around in here. And I didn't really mess with it that much except for this. Oh, Sheila, you can go back and watch the replay. But if y'all are new and you, you want to follow my page, you can just tap my face. And there's little dots that'll be up at the top of the screen. And you can turn on notifications. You can follow um, my page. I would love to have you. We have a bunch of sweet, sweet people on here. And then I have a group page. It's called the Turquoise Valentine's uh, Crafters Reveal. And it's pinned at the top of my page. And you can click the link. It'll take you to the group. And then you can join the group. And I'll tell y'all, <clears throat> every day I'm blown away at the people that are so talented. I have friends that will send me pictures out of the group and go, did you see what this person did with this pumpkin? And, and 
did you see this? And I'm like, yes, I saw it. Just beautiful stuff. People are so talented. So yeah, so I want to see y'all's turkeys when you get them made. So y'all have to post them in the group. Because I'm sure y'all are going to do like rainbow colors and everything on this turkey. He's, I'm going to show him call him Mr. Ruffle Butts. Because <laughs> he's got a ruffle butt. But he looks cute. It looks better than the way it was. That's how it was. And then he's all dressed up. Oh, thank you, Mandy. You're so sweet for posting that. There's the link for the group. Mandy just posted if you want to go join the group. And I'd love for you to follow my page. But we'd love to have you in the group. Yeah, I'm going to put my face mask on so I can cut the burlap. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to hop on, off. I'm going to hop on. I'm on. I'm going to hop off and let y'all uh, finish y'all's night. I'm sure there's a bunch of crafters on. Y'all can go watch. And uh, I appreciate y'all being here and coming and watching. And um, I will let y'all know. I'm, sp I'm supposed to go live Friday, but I'm having to fill in um, and work Friday, Thursday and Friday. So, um... I'm going to have to work and I don't know what time I'm going to get off. So we'll just have to play it by ear. But right now I'm going to go at 7.30 on Friday night. So we'll see. All right, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed Mr. Rufflebutt's turkey. And I'll post a picture of him later. And um, y'all have a good night. And thank y'all for watching. I appreciate your support. And y'all have a good rest of the week, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.